Hi, everyone. All right. It is March 11, 2021. There are good reasons why the world is nuts. You want to know one good reason? Because people are nuts. They actually submit, obey, listen to people they call my leader. They listen to leaders who are nuts. Bonafide. Something's very wrong with the mental faculties of a whole lot of our leaders. This is Boris Johnson. And, well, you want to listen to him? Okay, let's do that. The world we want to move to as fast as possible is a world in which we can take, everybody can take enabling tests at the beginning of the day, an antigen test to identify whether or not we have the virus or not, uh, with it, like a pregnancy test within 15 minutes or so, so that we know uh, whether we're able to live our lives as normally as possible. That's the vision that the health secretary and others have been sketching out over the last uh, few days. That's where we intend to get to. In the meantime, NHS Test and Trace is doing a heroic job. And today, today I can tell him that most people get an in-person test result within 24 hours and the median journey is actually under 10 miles if you have to take a journey to get one. Now, I will say that this kind of behavior that we've just seen uh, a psychotherapist, a psychiatrist, a psychologist might be able to fit mm, some of those behaviors into one of those DSM mental illnesses. He is bona fide nuts. But the majority of Brits, the majority in the UK, I guess put up with it, permit it, accept it. It's just fine. And then you have those who are so well adjusted to the deeply disturbed UK society who think that this is swell. You see, you can't be well adjusted to a deeply disturbed society. And if you have a deeply disturbed society and it goes on for a while, you probably have deeply disturbed leaders and people follow them. Yeah. Okay, um, enabling tests, you take it in the morning and you'll get the results, you know, just like a pregnancy test. And that'll permit you to go out. I don't know. This guy, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Did you see, did you see some of the expressions on these people's faces? Like, hmm, no. Doki, don't know what to say. Huh. And this guy looks over to check out. Hmm. What might others be thinking? Let's just take a look again. Okay? Quickly. 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 It's only a few seconds, so you got to pay attention. So that we know uh, whether we're able to live our lives as normally as possible. That's the vision that the health secretary and others have been sketching out over the last uh, few days. That's where we intend to get to. In the meantime, NHS Test and Trace is doing a heroic job. And oh, see, okay, so uh, the people in their respective countries, mostly Western countries. Okay, my <laughs> cat is not happy. I had to snatch him up, bring him inside. I live in the woods now, mountain lions, bears. Oh, and he was out hunting mice. And he is unhappy. I apologize. He'll simmer down soon, hopefully. Doesn't he sound like he's in a lot of pain? He so wants to hunt. I can't let him outside. All right. So, yeah, okay, we see people who truly are behaving in ways that we could say mentally not quite right. And it's going on all over the world, all over the world. 
Um, today, today I can tell him that most people get an in-person test result within... 24 hours and the median journey is actually under 10 miles if you have to take a journey to get one. Yeah, if you have to take a journey to get one, it's under 10 miles. <laughs> uh, does he need to be locked up? Yeah. By the way, this guy said the word normal. How dare he? How dare he say the word normal? Because the word normal, well, we're getting rid of that word too. Unilever to scrub the word, word normal from beauty packaging. No more normal. See, I would prefer to have this possum be my leader here in the good old U.S. of A. This possum eating a donut. Yeah, I think that our country would be far more sane if this was our leader instead of the one we got. But Unilever, yeah, more inclusive, so get rid of the word normal. The London-based, London-based owner of brands, including Dove, Axe, Vaseline, announced the decision Tuesday after conducting a survey that showed describing hair or skin as normal makes consumers feel excluded. Well... I am a consumer. And when I have gone to look at products and I see the word normal, I have never felt excluded. So could that survey have been excluding older people who are not that sensitive? Perhaps. We are committed to tackling harmful norms and stereotypes and shaping a broader, far more inclusive definition of beauty. Now, I never thought of, you know, on hair products or whatever, you know, beauty products, personal care products. Never, ever did I associate the word normal to anything but kind of average, right? Okay. Um, now, I don't have normal hair. I actually have very thick hair. I have the kind of hair that just blows up in humidity. I, uh, so, I would not get normal shampoo. I'd get Oh, please, please keep that frizz down, shampoo. But when I see normal, I've never felt bad. Never felt bad at all. Oh, well. That's just me. <clears throat> That's just me. One person. They surveyed 10,000 people in nine countries. Okay. Okay in which seven in 10 respondents said using the word normal on product packaging and in ads, that has a negative impact. Wow. A rate that rose to eight in 10 among 18 to 35 year olds. Well, let me say to those 18 to 35 year olds, uh, could you please grow one, you know, a spine, a spine, that's what I meant. Violent protests erupted in South Africa last September after an ad for the Tresem, is that how you pronounce that shampoo? Hair care brand labeled images of black women's hair frizzy and dull while describing white women's hair as fine and flat and normal. Oh, okay. Fine and flat is really not a compliment. <clears throat> Frizzy and dull, not a compliment. But um, I guess all white women have normal. Oh, I can see why a violent protest would erupt over that. 
I I just okay. Well, <clears throat> don't say the word normal. On the radio today, I heard that schools or universities or whatever getting rid of the words mom and dad. Hmm. I think we have a problem. I don't know. I think something is terribly wrong with our societies all over. But, okay, this is Canada's leader. This is Canada's leader. Um, don't you think that these people, well, we all know they're puppets. We all know that they, you know, read their teleprompters. But do you think that they, like, snort some lines or, I don't know, do some acid right before getting on TV? Because these people are really, they're just bona fide insane. Especially important right now when women are bearing the brunt of the impacts of COVID-19 and we face a she session. Especially important right now when women are bearing the brunt of the impacts of COVID-19 and we face a she session. Especially important. <clears throat> okay. A she session? We face a she... Sh say it. Say it five times fast. She session. Oh. Who thought that up, Trudeau, for you to say? Because we all know you guys don't write <laughs> your speeches. But frankly, you should really read it before getting on national television to speak it. You should read it and consider it. She session. I think it's a depression. C. Who cares? Oh, Netanyahu. To get it outside. Then they go to Home Space or any James app and they scan everything inside. And can, I, can it only be used by people who have been vaccinated? Or, yes, only okay. Or, yes. or uh, uh, recovered. Recover. Yes. Okay, okay. recovery. Test recovery. Is not no enough. test. No, 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 no test. No test. So no recovery or vaccine. We want to. Do it here. Do it here. Can it? Ah, ah, green passport. Yeah. This is the green passport, and this is going to be the path of uh, many countries. Many countries. So we can go inside? Yes, yeah, of course. Okay. Now, a lot of Israelis are on the streets trying to get rid of their fabulous nut job of a leader. <clears throat> but why are people actually putting up with this? I don't get it. They r literally bow down to these people. They think that these people are better, better than they are. It's true. They think these people are better than they are. That's scary. That makes you really wonder about all the people who think that these people are like important people, that they're the VIPs of the world, that they're intelligent, that they're all these kinds of things. A whole lot of people put these people on a pedestal. They look at them and they think, oh, my God, what a success. And, yeah, they, uh, well, admire them. Now, I don't know the percentage of those kinds of people. I hope it's small. But that would mean that the percentage of those people who think that these people are nut jobs might be large and they're doing nothing about getting rid of these people. Nothing. Spain destroys 1,000-plus guns seized from separatist group ETA.
I bet one or two of those guns still work. Now, here is Spain's crazy nut job of a leader. You cannot get into these positions without being a nut job. You just can't. Um, but they, they held a ceremony, a ceremony, and then RT puts it out to the world. Destroy those guns. Get rid of those guns. Well, the United States would probably have a ceremony. Oh, right. So we have now more oh, um, gun control taking place. Hang on. I haven't taken a look at the bill yet. The House just passed the first of many new gun laws. And a representative from North Carolina told Dems to come and take them. Wah! Ha ha! Mel Gibson. Um, in real America, when we say come and take it, we damn well mean it. Oh, we damn well mean it. Come and take them. Well, just kind of fell flat. I don't know. It fell flat to me. You know, it wasn't really all that passionate. You want my guns. I know it. We all know it. Well, Mr. Speaker, you can come and take them. With that, I yield back. Gentlemen, you. It sounds like, okay, Mr. Speaker, come and take them. It wasn't that, you know, you can pry it from my cold, dead hands. Freedom! Yay. This is what he said. I want to remind my colleagues of a simple fact that is far too often swept under the rug by the left. Americans actually, no, um, swept under the rug by Republicans. The left is far more active and they just sweep it all over the place and then Republicans do nothing. Ah, yes, divide and conquer. But anyway, Americans have a right to obtain firearms for lawful purposes. Let me be clear to everyone in this chamber. You will not take this right away from us. I know it's easy to be sucked into the D.C. bubble, but outside of here, in real America, when we say come and take it, we damn well mean it. Well... There was something wrong with the inflection. I, it didn't really come across as, I suppose he was posing a threat. Ah, that fell flat. Not normal. Oh, wait, I said it. No, flat. It was fine and flat. Okay. If you think this bastardization of the Constitution will be met with silence, you know nothing of the America I know. You want my guns? I know it. We all know it well, Mr. Speaker. You can come and take them. Here, I'll give it to you. And then you can have a ceremony like they did in Spain where they crush them. And they sit around and watch it. I'm telling you, this is not, okay, I, I don't know about you guys, but all right, this is, this is the good old U.S. of A leader. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Well, clearly, uh... There should be a no-confidence vote, you think? Because something is very wrong with Joe Biden. Something is very wrong. He still has not held a press conference. He, his handlers, or his caretakers, his guardians, rush him away when he speaks no questions. We cannot have questions posed to the President of the United States because, well, he may end up saying, as he says to his wife every morning, where the hell are we? He doesn't know. Clearly, he has something wrong cognitively. I just want to thank you both, and I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general, I keep calling him general, but my 
my uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Uh, I want to make sure we thank the secretary for all he's done to try to implement what we've just talked about and for recommending these two women for promotion. Thank you all. May God bless you all and may God protect our troops. God protect our troops? You think this is your commander? Oh yeah. But look at look at his expression. Yeah, well. I did my best, Jill. What can I say? Where the hell are we? These are our leaders. <laughs> oh my god. He announces two female generals nominated for appointment to positions as four-star combat commander. Can't remember the name. Can't remember that department. Uh, you know, that guy over there in that outfit. These are our leaders. This should scare the shit out of everyone. It should also make people rise. And begin to question that maybe they shouldn't be in these positions. And, well, kind of take back their own freedom, stop obeying these people. They're clearly destroying all of us. And if there was ever a time that one could question, okay, maybe these people are selected. Maybe those crazy conspiracy theorists were right. It's now. It's now. Joe Biden. Okay. No one, I, as far as I'm concerned, there are people, there are Americans who voted for this guy. Okay. Okay. But all right. He sure didn't get <laughs> an, a historic number of votes outdoing Obama, who is his own nut job or our nut job or the world's nut job. But he was eloquent and he had a swagger. He could speak. This guy, he's dull, flat, and not fine. There's something very wrong with him, but here, guys. You ready? Now, I'm cutting into this 2 minutes and 39 seconds, which you can listen to. This is, well, I need you. Joe Biden makes appeal to the American people. I need you. All right. This is the president. This is, this is the most powerful man in the world. The leader of the free country. <laughs> Fourth, in the coming weeks, we will issue further guidance on what you can and cannot do once fully vaccinated. He's going to determine what you can and cannot do. Holy shit. Americans actually listen to this and they're not like outraged. Uh, aren't we a free people? Well, we all know our freedom is... Ah... Uh, it's not in tatters, hanging by a very thin thread, very thin, when these people are dictating what we can and cannot do. Oof. Really bad. But they let you know. Whoever wrote this speech, because we know Joe didn't, is letting you know. Yes, they will dictate what you can and cannot do, and it's only going to get worse. To lessen the confusion, to keep people safe, and encourage more people to get vaccinated. And finally, fifth, and maybe most importantly, I promise I will do everything in my power. I will not relent until we beat this virus. 
but I need you, the American people, I need you. I need every American to do their part. That's kind of scary. You know, I need you, you know, to come and rub my leg when my hair is on my leg. It's just kind of standing up. For, I love those kids. I need you. Oh, my God. All right. The leader of the free world. That's not hyperbole. I need you. I need you to get vaccinated when it's your turn and when you can find an opportunity. And to help your family, your friends, your neighbors get vaccinated as well. Because here's the point. If we do all this, if we do our part, if we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, We'll be able to get together in your backyard or in your neighborhood and have a cookout or a barbecue and celebrate Independence Day. That doesn't mean large events with lots of people together, but it does mean small groups will be able to get together. After this long, hard year, that will make this Independence Day something truly special. Most people can't afford hot dogs anymore. It'll be special. It'll be special for you, not a large group, a small group, and you can have a barbecue outside. Wow! Aren't you looking forward to it? Maybe, maybe you can have a firecracker and set it off, though I'm sure Fauci will announce that firecrackers, well, they're super spreaders. Are you kidding me? We will tell you what you can and cannot do. And maybe on July 4th, you can celebrate with a barbecue, small group. You can celebrate our our independence. Yes, our independence. Where we not only mark our independence as a nation, but we begin to mark our independence from this virus. But to get there, we can't let our guard down. This fight is far from order, from over. As I told the woman in Pennsylvania, I'll tell you the truth. A July 4th with your loved ones is the goal. But a goal, a lot can happen. Conditions can change. The scientists have made clear that things may get worse again as new variants of the virus spread. We've got work to do to ensure that everyone has confidence in the safety and effectiveness of all three vaccines. These leaders have real difficulty talking of hexes of these vaccines. You know, in the beginning, all he kept talking about was get the shot in the arm. Get the shot. Get the shot. Not the jab. We call it the shot. We're going to come and give you a shot. Hmm. Then we're going to take your guns away so that we can only be the ones shooting. So my message to you is this. Listen to Dr. Fauci, one of the most distinguished and trusted voices in the world. He's assured us the vaccines are safe. They underwent rigorous scientific review. Uh, Okay, they didn't. And I have to watch what I say on YouTube. But I do have a channel on library. And actually, let me bring those videos up. Here's an update video on how safe those vaccines are. Don't know. Can you read that? Hope you can read that. Whoa, I didn't even click anything. There we go. Oh, well, it's bigger print, so yeah. See this? They're very safe, but this is an update, which means that I have other videos showing how incredibly safe those vaccines are. Here. How about this one? 
And it, yeah, it went through rigorous, a rigorous scientific review. Here, let me highlight. Okay. Oh, by the way, yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. Channel be gone. So, um, we have a problem that, yeah, we have a problem. These people are nuts. Bonafide. And they're the leaders of our country. And unless those ordinary folk grow up, do some research on their own, stop listening to that one expert, this guy claims is the expert to listen to. Well, there's an awful lot of experts out there who are saying something different. But 50% of Americans have questions about Biden's mental health. 50%? I guess those were the Trump supporters, huh? Yeah. Get rid of them. Ban them from social media. Don't let them ever have a voice. In fact, lock them up. The guy is... He's gone, okay? He's just gone. And, well, that vice president of his, who is talking to foreign leaders? She is. He's not. And you know what? You're better off having this guy <laughs> call the shots than, than Miss Hillary incarnate. All right, uh, you know, I don't know what to, uh, okay, just this. Here, here you go. You know from the Biden administration that they say it will make its decisions based on science. What's the science behind not saying it's safe for people who have been vaccinated, receive two doses, to travel? You know, that's a very good question, John, and, and the CDC is carefully heading in that direction. Uh, you know, when we when when Dr. Walensky made the announcement a day or two ago about the fact that when you have a couple of people, two or three or more people in a family setting, both of whom are vaccinated, even if it's someone from another, a friend that doesn't have to be a member of the family. That was the first in a multi step process that they are going to be rolling out. They're being careful, understandably. They want to get science. They want to get data. And then when you don't have the data and you don't have the actual evidence, then you've got to make a judgment call. And I think that's what you're going to be seeing in the next weeks. You're going to see little by little more and more guidelines getting people to be more and more flexible. The first installation of this is what can vaccinated people do in the home setting. Obviously, the next one is going to be what you're asking. What about travel? What about going out? What about getting a haircut? What about doing things like that? That's all imminently going to be coming out. Um, in terms of, you know, from the bottom. Um, okay, you didn't answer my question. Oh, so there is no science. Oh, you make shit up. Why are people listening? Why are adults listening to these people? Why? Tell me why. Please tell me why. All right. Next video will be on this article in Forbes. You ready? You ready? You ready? Okay. Here it is. Here we go. Yeah. Forbes. 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 Oh, it's quite the article. You must not do your own research when it comes to science. Okay, adults, don't do your own research. Listen to the experts, mainstream media, and this guy, Ethan Siegel, who seems a little off. 
But hey, Forbes thought he was just swell. They published an article by him. Yeah, this is Ethan. Okay. I have, I have nothing more to say. I don't know what else to say. I don't know how to really uh, reconcile this world with any kind of sanity at all. <laughs>